Let's take a look at the solutions. Number one was experiential, so we won't look at that one. But here we have number two, and I disobeyed. I don't have lines, I just have dittos. But numbers are immutable. Strings and tuples are just like numbers in that you can't go inside of them and change anything. They are immutable. The only mutable type we know about are lists. Well, slicing is a pile of fun. Let's look at some slicing. Here we have a birthday cake to slice from. If I do more from minus 4 to the end, minus 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, that gives me cake. From 9 to the end, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, cake. Well, we already know 9, 10, 11, 12. We don't get the 13, so that's perfect. Cake, cake, cake. There's another way that's not exactly slicing. We're going to use split because split split takes a string and makes a list out of it and that list will be a list of all the words or it splits on white space any white space will not appear in the answer but will stop one of the elements and then start the next so that split gives us birthday for the zero with element and cake for the one -th. So, if we say the minus one of it, that's the last one that's cake. But since this is zero and one, the one gives us cake. Here's another way. Make you a little bit aware of the R split. R split is just like split, except it splits from the right. We're going to have to put in a first argument. Now, an argument is allowed in the split, and you like that argument sometimes because you might want to split on commas or pipes, whatever you want to split your string on. Splitting on white space is the default. That's good because white space is very complicated. It's got new lines and tab and form feed. And, mm, I wouldn't want to have to think. And I don't have to think because there is a string library that has string dot white space. And that is a string that contains all the white space. So if you need to know it, it's in the string library. Okay, so this one needs to be what I want to split on and that is white space. And for this R split and none others that I'm aware of, if this first argument is none, then it's going to split on white space. It's going to use the default. I know there are languages where that is a common technique, but it isn't here. But R split gives us that. And you would learn that if you did a help on str.r split. The thing about R split is you want to give it a number. How many times do you want to split it? One time. So that once again gives us the same small list of birthday and cake. The one-th one, again, is cake. And the minus one-th one, again, is cake, 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 cake. Okay, this one's a little more complicated. Here we have silver, gold, copper, platinum. We're going to split them. That's going to give us a list of the four words. Now then, we're going to join them back up together with an and between each one. Notice that before we split them, we capitalize this string of metals. Capitalize only capitalizes the first character. Therefore, silver is now capitalized and the rest are not. And then we split and the words are just as we want them to be. So we join them back up together with and between each one and we tack on our only worth money. Okay, that's that. See you next time.